I'd like to share with you a deal, so since we're talking about structures, on how an option was done. So let's say, let's say here for the sake of the presentation, let's say Abdi owns a place. Now, because I'm Catholic Egyptian, I'm half Egyptian, half French, so I speak Arabic, French, English. My wife is Mexican, so I speak Spanish a little bit as well. So what happened is it worked to my advantage because he was doing deals in the French islands of Martinique. If you know Martinique, it's a French island. And in the Caribbean till now, there are incredible deals to be done. But the point is the same principles apply worldwide. Imagine Abdi owns a land right here in Martinique, right in front of the beach. Here is the beach, the beautiful beach. And he wants $1 million. So here is Beisari, the billionaire, would tell me something like, okay, Sharif, I need you to go there. I need you to put this property under option. Don't pay for the option more than $100,000. Let's get it done for six months. That's it. There is no like training. Let me take you under my arm and tell you what form to fill out. And let me nurture you to success. Okay, there's like, and don't come back without that contract signed. All right. <laughs> So here I am flying and just confused. Okay, so you know, what is it that I'm supposed to do exactly? Right? And there was no internet to search what's an option, all right? So I go there, Mr. Abdi, it's a pleasure to see you. How are you, sir? I understand you want to sell for one million. He says, yes, I'm anxious to sell, I want to get out. And uh, don't negotiate with me, I'm not gonna sell any less. Well, Abdi, I'm so happy for you. I would like to ask you, would you like me to give you a refundable deposit or a non-refundable deposit? What do you think Abdi is going to say? Non-refundable, non of course. You can give me non-refundable deposit. I'd like to have it. All right. Would you like me to give you 50,000 non-refundable or 100,000? 100,000. All right. Abdi, I mean, they look at me like, this guy must be an idiot. What kind of questions are these? All right. Well, sir, I'll give you $100,000 as an option because an option is non-refundable money. As an option to buy your land within six months. And um, he says, well, okay, that's wonderful. I'm happy to get the 100,000, but uh, why would I wait six months? I wanted to sell it now. Well, I'd say, well, Abdi, if, if we don't buy it within six months, you're gonna keep the 100,000, it's non-refundable. And if we buy it within six months, we'll pay you the million on top of the 100,000. Would you like? You're asking for a million, I'll pay you a million one. And from this moment, you say yes, I'll hand you the cashier check. You can call Chase Manhattan Bank in New York. They'll verify this is true money. They can even wire you the money if you prefer. I'll hold this, we'll go to your bank. So money will sit. Today you can go to your family and tell them the property is under contract to be sold. The only downside, you'll keep 100,000. Do you think Abdi is happy? At that moment they say, are you guys for real? Let me make some phone calls here. And they go to their bank, they call Chase Manhattan, and say, yep, yep, yeah, we know Sharif Medawari, the president for, uh, he's the right hand man for Edmond Besari. Yes, this money can, if you'd rather give him the cashier check, give us your account, we'll wire you the money right now, from bank to bank. So then we'd have dinner, we get to like each other, and then everybody's happy. Now what do we do? We have an option to buy this. What we did, is out go, then the next step, so this was step one, is to put it under an option. Step two was to go talk to the government of the Caribbean. Now in Martinique, uh, French um, uh, influence would go there and convince them, hey, you got an empty land here. We're gonna develop it. We need some tax benefits to develop it. You help us bring you money, we'll bring you a lot of money, but work with us. And then they would do programs such as, if you build condos, a hospital, retirement home, or hotel, which their favorite was hotel always, especially by location, we will give you what's called tax increment financing. So we tax you less. Or we would uh, charge you uh, no property taxes for 10 years. Or we will uh, not tax the entity from the profit it makes here for the first five years, which is huge, huge. Or we will give you um, a tax credit that you can apply on the island for many years to come for let's say 20 years. So we can get People, you build a hotel, we get people to come to the island, they will shop, they will go into a restaurant, it will create a lot of uh, uh, cash for the island. Is that good for the island, yes or no? So far, is it good for Abdi, the seller, yes or no? And is Beisari happy, yes or no? And I am earning my 3,000 a month, you understand? And what's happening, yes, yeah, so and you gotta earn it, even if it's 1,000 a month, I earn it, you understand? So that was exciting for me, that was the price I was paying. And then I would fly back, tell him the whole deal is pre-cooked, and then what we would do, we would just go now and meet with the big players. 
The Marriott boys, these guys, went from 1982 to 1986, doubling the inventory of Marriott hotel rooms around the world. Holiday Inn from 81 to 85 doubled the hotel rooms around the world. So my goal was to go and meet with the head team of Marriott in the, uh, Utah and go in and sit down. And I, by the way, I could have, I could have, and I think about it now, I could have thought to myself, oh my gosh, I'm only 22. Oh my gosh, I'm so skinny. My glasses were so big, you understand? I looked like a nerd. How could I actually go and negotiate? But I didn't have time to think of all these, you know, like the stuff that normal people think of. Oh, but I'm too slow, no, but I'm too big, no, but I'm too, I can't even, when I eat, I don't digest too fast. You know, none of that stuff. I just had to go in. Hi, how are you? Yes, one well, would like to propose for you this land right in front of the beach. And by the way, we have this package for all the tax opportunities for you. You will save this, you'll save that. When you build, they'll give you tax credit on this and that and this and that. And they will light up. They'll be so excited they want it. And that's when I look at the eyes around the table. And if all the eyes are going to that lady over here, that means she is the boss. And that was so important for me, I had to learn it very quickly. Because if she is the boss, everybody's looking at her, and then somebody else is asking. The second in command or third in command is asking, so how much do you want for it? Well, how much do you offer? And how much do you want? How much do you offer? I, mean, I got to do the flinch, so I'm waiting for them to tell me, right? So anyway, they would say something like, uh, well, we'll offer you six million. And I would say, you know, let's say I was hoping, let's say I was hoping for five million, and I offered six. Am I going to be happy? I should be happy, but if I can negotiate and get a little bit more, do you think Besari is going to be proud of me? You see, yes, and why not? So now I'd say, um, ah, six million, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Jeez, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, then I look at her, because everybody was looking at her. She is the boss. You know, you know, I was hoping for 10 million. Now, without her looking at anybody, she responds, well, the maximum we can go would be 8 million. That because she is the boss and now she wants to insert her power for the team, eight million. And I'd say something like, you know, I'll tell you what, why don't you guys sleep on it? Because tomorrow I have a meeting with the guys from Holiday Inn and uh, believe you me, they never, not once, had me walk out of the room. Never, not once, had me walk out of the room. Well, sit down, sit down, think there's a little misunderstanding. Can we just do it for 10 million but close quicker? We have the credit lines and all this. Why? Because in real estate you must position always against another. So when it comes to contracts, try to gain control and always do the positioning. The positioning. Everybody with me on this? And we sign, and here's how it goes. Now we go to the closing table in the Caribbean. At the closing table, we have Mr. Abdi sitting in one room for the closing. He's expecting the million dollars. I walk into the other room. I'm signing. I had the power of attorney to sign for him for hundreds of millions. I would sign accepting now the $10 million, everybody with me? And sign, releasing one million for Abdi. So let's work the numbers. If I have to pay one million from the 10 million coming, then how much did we make? Nine million. But we truly, truly put how much from our pocket? 100,000, which was very aggravating for him. He wanted to do it almost for free, but you know, you had to put some money. So that's a net of $8.9 million on 100,000. How do you think, just, just think about it for a moment, how do you think somebody can make a billion dollars in one lifetime? It's not by saving, like they say on TV. Susie Orman is great. But she is catering to people making 30,000 and less. And I'm not talking 30,000 net, I'm talking 30,000 gross and less. She's telling them, put the saving and keep saving. Keep saving for what? For when? You cannot save your, your way to solvency. It's impossible. Get a pen and a paper and I'll show you the inflation alone will eat you alive. If you don't make at least 7% interest on anything you invest in, impossible to even meet inflation. Inflation is the silent death. And then you add the taxes to it, you're killed. It's impossible to make it. And yet it's the greatest country in the world, but because it has the freedom of ownership, the freedom of creativity, and these were done in the French islands. 
Is that beneficial to understand how a deal like this is structured?